you got a judge that's going to make the ruling, and he is a government employee on a government paycheck. Who is he going to rule for? <laughs> now, that's not hard to figure out. I mean, we may be kind of dumb and really simple. I'm a simple man, and I like to deal with simple people because we can understand simple things, can't we? The Seventh Amendment, we have stopped all kinds of actions out here using this principle and challenging the judge with a judicial notice, putting him on notice of the fact that he is a government agent. The nine justices of the Supreme Court are just nothing more than nine corkscrew lawyers, and they're all, they are all government employees, which makes them a government agent, an agent of the government. Now, they can rule on equity cases. They can rule on them if you're dumb enough to go into an equity court with a lawyer. But you don't need a lawyer in the common law. You don't need it. All you do is you go in there and state the facts as you know them, and the jury, they use their common sense and understanding this decision. Sure, they might make a mistake once in a while, but I don't think you'll find them making a mistake very often. They won't make near as many mistakes as those judges in those black dresses. <laughs> This is the most exciting thing that has come along. Now, I'm going to warn you. There's a lot of people out there that are making a living selling their books, selling their, their, their talk show abilities and this type of thing. I used to say, I'll let you people, I'll let you use 25% of your time to talk about the problem. But I want you to, I want to hear you talking about the, the solution at least 75% of the time. You're going to have people come along and they're going to say, oh, you've got to do this and you've got to do that. You've got to know about the corporation that the federal government has become and all of this. Just don't pay any attention to them because most of them don't know what they're talking about or how to make it work and it doesn't work. They go into court and they do all these crazy things and then they go to jail and wonder why. <laughs> Don't get all bent out of shape. Stay with the symbol. This is simple stuff here. These guys are down here under the Constitution. They're not above us and they're not above God. Amen. Where's the IRS code? Oh, it's way down here on the bottom. It's down here on the bottom. That's not, that's not good law. All we have to do is say, not guilty. And it basically just trash cans their law. It's just rules and regulations. They call it law, but usually it's not law at all. I think that we've got something, we've got something going in this country. We've got something going that is going to make a difference. And I've just got to challenge you. Get yourself in harness. Start pulling your weight. You will have no excuse when you leave here tonight. Going out and saying, I don't know. I've tried my best. You'll have to excuse me not using my notes and all of that. But um, I get back in the old habit, I guess, of going without. And um, it was people in Montana that put this out. And this book came off the press in March or April of 1985. We have not been able to get it to a jury or a grand jury because of the violations of law by the federal judges and the prosecutors, the federal U.S. attorneys. Get behind this thing with this grand jury and make it go in this state because you can have a county grand jury in your county, in the state of Montana, and you can subpoena the President of the United States of America. <laughs> Bill, 
Bill Clinton didn't think he had to answer to the grand jury, but he did. And a grand jury is a grand jury. I don't care if it is county, state, or federal. It doesn't make any difference. Why? Because it's made up of we the people. And we're up here. I was going to read you the law that these people all are in violation of. Title 18, Section 4. It says that if you know of a crime, you have to bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Military, even the military, we've done that. But there's a massive cover-up, and we've got to uncover it, and we've got to send some people to jail, and I can assure you that if you will do your job, it'll happen. It can happen. If you'll get behind this, with, I mean, make a commitment, please, because that's what it takes. And... Uh, it's happening all over the country. I'm on the phone every day with people all over this country. That's one reason I wasn't all that keen on coming, because a trip like this is very difficult for me. But I made it, and I'm just so pleased that I was able to be here with you. Thank you.